Greetings and welcome to the third installment, the third demonstration, I should say, in the digital prototyping and BIM video series. This is going to cover the profile of uh, what if you're not using Inventor and what if uh, you're not on 2D but you're on rather a different 3D package and in this instance we're going to talk about bringing in some pro engineer data. So as you can see I've simply used our native translators and, and in that list there was, there was quite a bit. There's SolidWorks, there's Katia and in this example again we're using pro engineer and our native translators are rather thorough what we have is the ability to go through and and get all the way down to part level detail so if it was an assembly that was saved off we're going to bring in the assembly its structure and all of the components and this is actually a sheet metal part and if I give it some sheet, sheet metal properties tell it what what its thickness is I have the ability to unfold it so as you can see our, our, our translator is quite thorough in, in in what gets brought over here now as a building product manufacturer, I want to go ahead and participate in this BIM process. Even though that my manufacturing tool set doesn't necessarily have a purpose-built set of tools to provide native content for all forms of Revit and AutoCAD Architecture and AutoCAD MEP, I still want to be able to participate in this. So here's an example of where I can utilize Autodesk Inventor as an exchange or an AEC exchange tool platform if you will to bring in my native production components and do things like add electrical connectors make sure it's oriented correctly and even further simplify the model than what you already see it on the screen so if I want to for example utilize the shrink wrap substitute functionality I can do so by simply selecting on it creating a shrink wrap substitute and eliminating things like unnecessary holes um, even certain components based upon size you know that I wouldn't necessarily need the detail of a door uh, potentially on the Revit or AutoCAD architecture side of things and I certainly wouldn't need the cooling fan cover uh, it's just a level of detail that's unnecessary in most BIM applications but I want to go ahead and tell it to, to close off all the holes and everything and, and as you can see it's going to take that pro engineer data and do what it needs to do to further simplify the geometry uh, based upon my requirements here. So now that I've got the simplification done here I'm going to go ahead and export this as an ADSK file. Now that ADSK file is a native file type that can be opened natively in Revit Architecture, Revit Structure, Revit MEP, AutoCAD Architecture, and AutoCAD MEP. And along with that exchange file, I want to include certain pieces of metadata, the manufacturer, the cost, the weight, um, any URLs, and so forth. And I'll go ahead then and save this file off. Now on the other side of things, as a, uh, as a recipient of this data, it's literally a file open process. As I already mentioned, the ADSK file that gets produced out of Autodesk Inventor is a native file type that I can just file open inside of Revit. And that file open process gives me all the information that I need to be able to include this component that was provided to me from a manufacturer in with my project. So once it's placed into a uh, Revit family. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now what happens here is, is the ADSK file contains uh, a slew of information. Enough information for it to create the Revit family uh, and enough information for it to create AutoCAD blocks when it's opened up in AutoCAD. So by saving it, as you can see, it actually strips out all the additional information in the ADSK file and isolates it into an RFA file and as you can see it's about half the size. Now let's take a look at some of its properties and see what's come what's come across here. And again, keep it, keep in mind this came from a a non Autodesk. Uh, <laughs> this came from a Pro Engineer file, right? So by my ability to add the non CAD related information uh, inside of Inventor and publish that out so that it's included in this object is uh, uh, is definitely an advantage uh, as a manufacturer. So let's just go ahead and place three instances of those in this particular project. And it was, again, as an architect, as you saw, I didn't have to reorient it or anything. I, I had to open it, save it, and publish it then to my project. Ease of use is, a, is going to be a significant advantage from a building products and equipment manufacturer standpoint to make sure that your products get utilized on these projects. So let's just go ahead real quick and rotate this around and see what it looks like on the side of the building. And those aren't just any air conditioning units. Those are my air conditioning units. And I want to make sure that they get included in this project.